my baby. You can go and ask me. My life is a movie, but riding in both. Alright, so we got this net right here. So I don't even know, like two foot net. But it's uh about, but it, it's got really small holes, as y'all see. And um, as y'all saw in the last video, I have them tiny, like bass fry. So, and then I got a four foot, so I'm gonna try to connect them and make it like a six foot pole so I can reach out to them. But yeah, that's what I'm picking up here. But I also thought this was cool. I mean, this, this is a real cheap lure, but it looks pretty good. So I might have to try, come on. But I might have to try that out. But yeah, I'll probably see how when I'm trying to make this all into one. All right, so this is what we have. And we had to get it off from this right here. And now we're about to cut this right here off so it'll be a flat wooden thing wooden stick that'll be a good bit longer and it'll just go on like that and then we'll have all that to catch little fish with so and but it took that and that just to get it off this one little stick but it's like the same thing it's got all the string on the end of it so it should work pretty good but i'll see y'all once we put that right there onto the stick so found i'm at this pond y'all seen me up before there's little bass chasing around all this bass fry like eating them and stuff so i'm finna do i don't know i'm probably gonna have to get in the water Let's see where they are the school's over here took my socks and shoes off Oh yeah, they are 100% bass fry. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Dude, that's crazy. Hang on, let me get my iPhone footage. All right, y'all, so look, look at this. Bass fry, bass fry. Okay, let me get these in the bucket. Oh my gosh, y'all. Right, I'm gonna grow up a bunch of bass. Yes, I've been trying to do this for so long. Any more in the net? Okay, let's get some more. Oh, that's a nice bass. Two nice bass. See, look, they're just gonna eat them out here. If I grow them and keep them up, I'm gonna grow them and like stock a pond with them. Y'all know? See, so, here I go again for another. I think I got some more. Yep, 100% got some more. Okay. Y'all, this is crazy to me. Getting in the water, catching. I'm probably going to catch like 100 of these things. And I'll be honest, I don't know where I'm going to put them yet. I'm wanting to put them in my big tank, but like, ooh, all right, they're over here because I, I can see good. I can see like their little movement and plus, oh gosh, yeah, okay, there's a good bit right there. Oh yeah, got some more. No, I got a lot of bass fry in there right now. I mean, a lot. Oh yeah, that's a lot more. And I don't know if I'm actually supposed to do this or what. But this is gonna keep them alive longer. I know that. Look, look how many's in there. Holy crap. And my battery's low on my GoPro. Uh, but I might film some more on my phone. Because I filmed this. Look at this. Bass fry. Bass fry. Okay, guys. So my GoPro just died. I can see them over there. Look how many. That's all tiny, tiny bass. Like, not even. Let me tell you. 
Oh my gosh, no, my aerator died. Oh, junk. Okay. Uh, that, oh, little tip. Alright, they're busting over there. Um, let me see if I can just get like some phone footage real fast. Look, there's a bear. It's not a bad bear, honestly. Where are they all at? Where's the school? Well, that's where the school went. Dude, go look in the bucket. In that bucket, look how many baby bats I have. It's crazy. Are some over here? Here, you can look at these if you want to get a close up out of water. Look how many, you see them? Okay. You going home? Y'all, look how many. I mean, that's like a hundred tiny little bass. Not even joking. Golly, that might be enough as it is, but I might get a couple more. So I still gotta go home and figure out what to do with these guys. Yep. Okay, look how many baby bass that is. All right, I'll start a whole scoop right here. I'm putting them all in this tank. I know it's gonna seem kind of crowded, but like they're in a school, they're usually tight together, anyways. Look at all the baby bass. Golly, I'm just show y'all once I got them all in because it's just easier because my GoPro is dead and my phone's about to die so yeah all right y'all so look we got all of these back in this corner y'all can barely see i got that aerator going right here today plenty of oxygen oh it's make it safer so y'all can see all of those baby bags i mean this is probably 100 plus oh, i got a shiner in there did not know that anyways but look at how many just golly and then they're back here too I'll probably give y'all an update in probably about an hour or two, so yeah, I'll see y'all then. Alright, so it's been about, mm, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half, two hours. Look at all of them. I mean, this is still not me. Oh, God. See a close-up on them? Right, look at those things. Then you got some back here. Oh, there, I mean, it's probably, I got close to 100, if not 100, or 100 plus. That one that, down there, I'm sure there be some in there. They like this plant there, and I figured they would, but I'm probably about to screenshot, because I'm going to look up what they eat, and I'm probably going to screenshot it and put it in a video, and I'll see y'all then. Alright, y'all, so, alright. Uh, that worked. Okay, so as I saw, I looked it up, and it was telling me what like real bass eat, and like, that's not what I'm looking for. So it's that they eat like is zoo plankton. And I looked it up. It was like saltwater stuff. So the only thing I can think of that they might be small to eat is um blood worms. Some of y'all might know what that is. Some of y'all might not. But I'm gonna buy me some blood worms. They're like super tiny little red worms that are frozen. You buy them at PetSmart. What if I drop my phone? And the light behind me is the one that I'm using for my big tank right now. The light stopped working. I bought new light bulbs, like everything. I've actually got a light bulb right here. Like, and the, it's just like the thing that holds light bulbs that don't work. So I got about $65. So I got to buy that. Um, but yeah, so I got to buy me some blood worms to feed these guys. But. I think it's like super cool that I've got like a hundred plus tiny tiny baby bass that I can grow up and do like whatever I want. Like I can stock a pond with them. I can keep some for my own. Like y'all know what I mean? Like it's, it's pretty cool to me. But like I'll probably give y'all one more look with this light showing right here. But after that I'll probably end the video. But like 
They are like microscopic. You should, I don't can see the right old line is like jet black and get straight across. It's pretty cool. And so they're in a five gallon tank. They're super small. Eventually, I might like divide them up and get them in there, or I might put them upstairs in my uh, 10 gallon crawfish tank. Not really sure yet, but yeah, I'll give y'all one more look. Okay, so look, here they are. I need to clean the glass on here, but yeah, they really like this plant over here. But just look, look at the lines on them. Oh, I think it's so cool. All right, I'm just gonna let it sit here for a minute and just watch how they roam around. To me, I feel like I kind of saved them because like bass like busting on them, trying to eat them, and like if I can keep just about all these alive. And I saved all those fish. Now I can stock a pond when they get big enough. But yeah, that's a lot of them. But I hope y'all enjoyed seeing me catch these baby bass. And tell me what y'all think about them. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.